Amen. To God be the glory for the great things He has done in our lives. Welcome to another virtual Bible study of the Alo Baptist Baptist Church located here in Northeast Washington, D.C., where our pastor is Bishop Calvin L. Matthews. Bless you, Pastor, family, and the family of Alo Baptist Baptist Church. Let us open with a word of prayer. Heavenly Father God, we come once again to thank you, Lord, for your love, for your grace, and for your mercy. Lord God, we thank you for salvation. Lord God, we thank you just for how you just watch over us each day of our lives. And Lord, right now, we pray that you will help our families and loved ones, and friends and acquaintances that we have that you have put in our lives that may be a little weaker than we are. Bless them, Lord. Comfort them, Lord. And Lord, right now, this virtual Bible study, I pray that your spirit will come and minister to us what we should know about your word as we hear your word being read, Lord. Let us receive your word with love and kindness and embrace your word that we may go out and help someone else, Lord. As your spirit lead us, lead us to. Yes, Lord, we ask you this prayer in the blessed name, our Lord and Savior Jesus, that you make it all the glory for all the things that we do. In the name of Jesus, Amen, Amen. <clears throat> Thank you once again. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another virtual Bible study of the Isle of Patmos Baptist Church. This week we are in. Nehemiah chapter 3. Last week we were, <clears throat> we went over Nehemiah chapter 2 where the um, Artaxerxes, they gave Nehemiah permission to go to Jerusalem, his hometown, yes, to uh, rebuild a wall. Uh, uh, Nehemiah inspected the wall and he seen how torn down it was. And um, he asked for letters to receive lumber from ASAP to keep out the woods and um, so he can rebuild the gates, help him rebuild the gates of uh, the city of Jerusalem. And the people that were there in Jerusalem said they would help him, said they would help Nehemiah with their work. Now, Nehemiah chapter 3, it, um, <clears throat> in this chapter it shows the names and, and the work of those that took place, that took part in rebuilding the wall. The, the people, they worked together getting this job done. Yes, the people of Jerusalem, all of them worked together getting this job done. And, and we, yes, we need to work together like this in our churches today so that we can do the will of God. Well, amen? Amen. And we're going to uh, read... Uh, yeah, um, the builders of the wall, okay, the builders of the wall, it, it names some, some of them. And I'll start reading chapter 3 of Nehemiah, verse 1 in the NIV. Yes, verse 1 reads, Elisha, the high priest and his fellow priests, went to work and rebuilt the sheep gate. They dedicated it and set its doors in place, building as far as the Tower of the Hundred, which they dedicated, and as far as the Tower of Haniel. Now, let me speak on that. The priests are the first ones, the priests, yes, the priests are the first ones mentioned during the repairs. This is leading the people with action and not just words. Thank you, pastors and priests out there everywhere. Leading the people first. And it mentions about the Sheep Gate. The Sheep Gate was on the south side of the city, which looked towards Mount Zion and the temple. It was the gate where they brought the, brought the sheep through to be sacrificed. And in this chapter, not only shows the names of, of, of whom was doing the work, but it, but, but in order, but in, in what order the wall was built. It also showed the order that the wall was built. And also, let me mention this, also, 
uh, there was 12 gates to the city. And, and in Revelation chapter 12, verse chapter 21 and 12 tells us that. It was 12 gates to that city. And in this chapter, only 10 gates are mentioned in this chapter. Uh, uh, but in chapter 8 of Nehemiah, chapter 8, verse 16 of Nehemiah, it tells you about the gate of Ephraim. And in chapter 12 of Nehemiah, verse 39, it tells of the gate of prison. Um, if you get time, look it up. Okay. Um, now, we're on verse 2. The men of Jericho built the adjoining wall, and Zechariah, son of Imri, built, built next to them. The fish gate was built by the sons of Hashanah. They laid its beams and put its doors and bolts and bars in place. Now, hold up, right there. The fish gate was close to the main roads and, and the fish market where merchants came to buy and sell their goods. That's where the fish gate was. They used fish gate for that. Okay. Verse 4 reads, Merimoth, son of Uriah, the son of Hathcos, repaired the next section. Next to him, Meshulah, Meshulah, son of Berk, Berk, Birakana, yeah, the son of Mishi Zabel, made repairs, and next to him, Zadok, son of Bakbiana, also made repairs. The next section was repaired by the men of Tekola, but their nobles would not put their souls to work under their supervisors. Pause. Now here, we see that the nobles would not work. Yes, the nobles. They would not work. But there is always, there's always some that will rebel when you are trying to work for the Lord. Yes, it's always someone rebel. Trying to get the Lord's work done. Okay, verse 6. Jez Hannah gave was rebuilt by Jordan, son of Parsim, and Meshula, son of Besol Delah, they laid his beam and put his doors with the bolts and bars in place. Next to them, repairs were made by men of Gibeon and Mizpah. Melatala of uh, Gilion, Gilion and Javon of uh, Mer Miranov places places under the authority of the of the governor of trans Euphrates. Verse 8. You say you see a son of Haranara, one of the goldsmiths repaired the next section, and Hananiah, one of the perfume makers, made repairs next to that. They restored Jerusalem as far as the board wall. Raphinah, son of Hur, ruler of a half district of Jerusalem, repaired the next section. Adjoining this, Jodea, son of Haram, Haramath, made repairs opposite his house, and Hutu, son of Hashiniah, made repairs next to him. Mekah, Maki, the son of Haram, and Hashub, son of Peraf Moab, repaired another section and the towers of the ovens. Shalom, son of Halohash, ruler of a half district of Jerusalem, repaired the next section with the help of his daughters. Pause right there. Here we see Shalom's daughters helping with repairing the wall. This let us know that God can use anyone to do his work. Verse 13. The valley gate was repaired by Hannah and the residents of uh, Zenor. They rebuilt it and put its doors with the bolts and bars in place. 
They also repaired a dozen, a thousand cubits of wall as far as the as the Dun Gate. The Dun Gate was repaired by Makija, son of Rechab, ruler of the district of Beth Hakarim. He repaired it and put his doors with the, their boats and bars in place. Pause. Speaking of, let's speak on the Dun Gate. The Dun Gate was the gate that the people carried the garbage to be burned in the valley of Hinnom. Okay. Now, verse 15. The fountain gate was repaired by Shalom, son of Kol Hosea, ruler of the district of Mizpah. He rebuilt it, roofing it, o roofing it over and putting its doors and boats and bars in place. He also repaired the wall of the pool of Siloman by the king's garden as far as the steps going down to the, from the city of David. Verse 16, beyond him, Nehemiah, son of Asbur, rule of a half district of Berkshire, made repairs up to a point opposite the tombs of David as far as the artificial pool and the house of the heroes. Next to him, the repairs were made by the Levites under Ru Runan, son of Bani. Beside him, Hat Hash Hashabana, ruler of half district of Keala, carry his, his carry out repairs from his district. Next to him, the repairs were made by the fellow Levites under Benui, son of. Hanadad, Hinadad, son of Hinadad, ruler of the other half of Keala. Next to him, Ezar, son of Jeshua, ruler of Mizpah, repaired another section from a point facing the, the accent of the armory as far as the angle of the wall. Next to him, Barat, son of Zabai zealously repaired another section from the angle to the entrance of the house of Elijah, Elijah the high priest. Next to him, Merimoth, son of Uriah, the son of Hakos, repaired another section from the entrance of Elijah house to the end of it. The repairs next to him were made by the priests from the surrounding region. Beyond them, Benjamin and Hashab made repairs in front of their house and next to them as 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 Zavara, as, as, as Zavara, son of Mesara and son of Anani made repairs beside his house. Next to him, Benui, son of Hinadad, repaired another section from Azariah's house to the angle of the corner. And Pela, and Pela, son of Uzziah, worked opposite the angle in the tower projected from the upper palace near the court of the guard. Next to him, Padea, son of Paros, and the temple servants living on the hill of Oph Ophel made repairs up to a point opposite the water gate towards the east and the projecting tower. And next to them, the men of Tekola repaired another section from the great projecting tower of the wall of Ophel. Pause. Even though their leaders refused, the, the leaders of Tekola refused to work, the men of Tekola worked on another section of the wall. Remember back in verse 5, talking about Tekola. Okay, verse 28. Above the horse gate, the priest made repairs, each in front of his own house. And next to them, Zodok, son of Emmer, Emmer made repairs opposite his house. Next to him, Shemarai, son of Shekinah, 
the guard at the east gate made repairs. Next to him, Hananiah, son of Shelemiah, and Hannah, the sixth son of Zalaf, repaired another section. Next to them, Mishala, son of Berkela, Bikala, made repairs opposite his living, living quarters. Next to him, Makaja, one of the goldsmiths, made repairs as far as the house of the temple servants and the merchants, opposite the inspection gate, and as far as the room above the corner. And between the room above the corner and the sheet gate, the goldsmiths and the merchants made repairs. And that concludes the reading of chapter 3 of uh, the book of Nehemiah. Now, let me mention this. The priests, the priests made repairs in front of their own homes, their own houses. And um, when we are led, when we are led, when we, when we, when we are led and we, and we are led, in the leadership of doing a large project, we have to make sure that each person working with us knows what the project means to them. Okay. And to go on a little further, the sheet gate where they ended is where they began. It. So the sheet gate where they began and where they ended the repairs of the wall. It went all the way around that city of Jerusalem to repair the walls and rebuild the gates. Amen. May God continually bless His Word. Let us pray. Heavenly Father God, we come once again, Lord, to thank you for what you have written for our hearing, Lord. Lord, we pray that you continue to keep us, Lord to lead us and guide us, Lord. Lord, we pray that you are always there with us. Pray that we just continue to call and reach out to you before we do anything, Lord. That we put you, always put you first. Ask you to lead the way for us, Lord. And Lord God, we know that you will. So Lord, we ask that what your scriptures have us read before us, that we may meditate on your word and do as your spirit lead us to do your will, Lord. So, Lord God, I ask that you continue to bless us, bless our church, our whole families, such our church families, our home, our loved ones, our friends, co-workers, and all, Lord, that you have put in our life. Bless them all, Lord, because we need you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you. I ask you to spare the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Help us, Lord. Help us. Help us. Help us. Yes, Lord. Let us work, Lord. Are you calling us to work, Lord? Help us. Open our ears to hear your call, Lord. Yes.